Hello folks, it is thundering and lightning here at the moment. Atrocious outside too. The rain is not going to kill the day though is it? Low pressure as they say, creating the thunderstorms and the rain. Today's EOD vlog is about Raheem Sterling's tattoo. The gun on the, uh, the right side of his shin, but the gun tattoo is causing quite a bit of a stir because people are saying it's glamorising guns and gun violence, which, which in the current environment is uh, quite a, um, a sensitive thing. The UK and, and London particularly seeing its sort of worst epidemic of gun violence at the moment. Um, Raheem Sterling has come out and said that it's uh, in, a, in a tribute to his uh, father who was killed when he was two. Um, by a gun, he sort of says it's a mark of a mark to remember him and a mark to um, go by when he's uh, when he's playing, and he, he sees it as something that's quite sentimental. So who are we to judge, really, what someone wants to have inked on their body in a mark of remembrance? Everybody wants to have a go at Sterling. It's you know, one minute he's you know living the life of a of a you know jet setting multi millionaire, which he is, and the next he's he's sort of going budget and not doing enough really and, and it's like the, the guy can't win really these days and the choice of having a gun i think as as a tat as a tattoo symbol probably wasn't the wisest he's still young though you got to remember that he's still young still finding his way in the world you know the way that people sort of are, are going after him at the moment is probably slightly harsh yeah the group mothers against guns have said that um, he uh, he shouldn't be playing for england until he gets the tattoo laser removed but you would understand where they're coming from you know the be seen to be glamorizing guns is not something a role model like him should be doing but I don't think you know he's come out and said it's not to do with that it's a tribute to his dad I think it's probably the, probably not a wise thing to have tattooed on 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 your leg or anywhere on your body a tattoo of a gun it's not it's not gonna go down well at all is it Sterling is, has had such a good season uh, and he's you know I've, I've met him actually and he's a really nice guy yeah, at the end of the day it's, it's someone wants to live their life someone wants to remember a loved one by having a, a tattoo that's not visible normally you know, he's got his socks up and his shin pads on. Normally you can't see that when he's playing. I think that in hindsight now, after all this opera brim, I think he's probably going to have to have it removed. Um, yeah, it'll probably all blow over, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, that's that's the other extreme, isn't it? You know, is it going to inspire people to pick up a gun and carry a gun? I just, yeah, and that's, that's what, how you got to look at it, really. You know, what do you think about Raheem Sterling's uh, gun tattoo? Do you, think he, um, do you think it's something he should have probably thought a bit longer and harder about and maybe not had something like that on there? But I guess... Do you think he could be and should be left alone to just sort of get on with his job of scoring goals for England and, you know, having all the stuff that's around him sort of forgotten about for the moment? Let me know what you think. Hit us up in the comments below. Hit the like and subscribe button and the follow button as well if you watch it on Facebook. And I will see you again very soon for another EOD vlog.